Hey guys, it's Avondale, and welcome back to Let's Build a Game Show Game, where I work along with the other Noxcrew builders to build a game that you choose the direction of. In today's episode, I'll reveal the winners of the contest, and you'll get a chance to suggest the name for the game. I know the people who submitted build ideas to the contest are itching for the results, so let's get right down to it. First of all, I wanted to thank everyone for their submissions to the contest. There were a lot of really good ideas, and the five that I picked were uh, definitely my five favorites, but there are some other concepts in there that you never know, you might see them pop up in a different game. The ones that I picked are the ones that I felt were more game showy in nature, and the term game showy is pretty difficult to describe, but it generally refers to sort of how intuitive they are when you look at them. Uh, it doesn't necessarily need to be intuitive how to activate them, especially in uh, the situation where you have the people inside the course pushing the buttons and the people outside have to react to it, but it's that initial reaction that just has to be really obvious what's going on uh, so they know exactly what to do while they're under pressure in the game. A big thing that takes away from the game showiness is if you ever have to read a sign to figure out what something does. Uh, so there was a couple submissions that did that, and that's probably the main reasons those ones didn't get picked, is because they just weren't as intuitive. Uh, if you have any questions about uh, why I chose the ones that I did, if I don't do a good job explaining it in the video, let me know, or ask me better questions in the comments or in the forum thread, because I will respond to them to try to get you guys to understand our design process a little better. Okay, now that I have that out of the way, let's uh, reveal the winners. I picked five of them. Uh, as you can see, I have them all behind our uh, nice concealing pink wool here. Uh, you'll notice I did the same thing over here. We did build the course. We actually built all of the different variants of the pipes as well into the different angles. Uh, and you can see here, there's a little checklist that Niall was working on. I'm assuming those will turn into checks when you push the buttons. Uh, I had to cover these up because I'm assuming our game show contestants, some of them will watch this episode and we definitely don't want to give them uh, the ability to figure out how to do this ahead of time. So uh, I covered that up so you couldn't see. I covered these up too and there's a big black wall there that's hiding another new game. So as you can see, we've been pretty busy. All right, I've solved you long enough. Here's the first winner. Let's, uh, oh, let's say one more thing. Uh, the conveyor belt is going to move this way and there's gonna be like a trash pit here. And so you need to move in this direction and then you're gonna go up here and then you're gonna go through this obstacle and this way over to here. And this is gonna be where the machine kind of starts and this is gonna be where the finish line of the course is. So this is gonna be one pressure pad and then the other two people are gonna come out up there and the pressure pad's gonna be over here for them. Okay, now I'm done. Uh, let's hit the button. So the first obstacle is this thing. It's called the Smasher, I think, and it is by Sweet and Vicious. Uh, so when they hit the button to trigger this, you can see right now I can't get by this obstacle. When they hit the button, this thing's going to start going up and down. So you're still going to have to dodge it. If it does hit you, I don't know what's going to happen yet. You might take damage. You might just get knocked back over to here or something. But uh, it's a nice big Smasher and I thought it was designed pretty nicely, it looked pretty realistic. Uh, obviously we're going to have to build some sort of an enclosure to house that or some sort of supports, but that'll come when we detail the rest of the map. So sweet and vicious, congratulations to you. Uh, time to reveal obstacle number two. It is the gigantic fence gate. <laughs> Now, I really liked the concepts of the gigantic things, and uh, Mario SS7 is the guy that was uh, building the gigantic things in Minecraft onto the conveyor belt. So he built this big fence gate. He had also built a minecart, and uh, I think maybe one other thing. I forget what it was, but um, I like the concept that if something gets down onto this trash belt and they didn't need it to go through, they can stop it with this fence. So this fence is going to be closed, and when you push the button, you'll hear a fence noise, and it'll open. And it'll probably actually open and shut, so you still have to time yourself running through. Uh, we'll see what it does, but yeah, Mario SS7, congratulations. Uh, now here's our third episode, 
for our episode. I can't talk. Here's our third contest winner. Obstacle, that's the word. Boop. And it is Hail the King. And uh, he's suggested having crates uh, fall down from a conveyor belt to use to jump back up. Uh, I modified his design a little bit because I wanted to use separate conveyors, so imagine the final product from whatever this machine's making is going out in that direction. Uh, and these four crates uh, are obviously all wrong. I mean, look at how ugly they are. So there's this pusher here that separates the bad ones out from the good ones, and it pushes the bad ones down onto this conveyor down here. So if you'll take a look here, if these land down there, we'll be able to jump up them like this, and then get up on top of the next conveyor and continue from there. Uh, so yeah, hail the king, uh, congratulations. That's our third obstacle. Let's take a look at the fourth one. It is Caffeine Boost having the brilliant idea to reuse things that we've already made. Now, initially I was like, ah, oh, I don't know if I want to pick this one. However, uh, adding this uh, Sands of Time timer into this game uh, has some really cool aspects about it that I can't talk about now because I don't want to spoil it for the actual game but uh, congratulations to Caffeine Boost and now our last obstacle that won the contest is Dragonizer's Slime Cannon thingy so the way that this will work here uh, to fit with the conveyor belt I had to modify this design just a little bit to get it to work is uh, imagine that uh, these crates or boxes or whatever's getting made here, uh, they're initially molded into a big green clump. And so when this part of the machine's off, this will be empty. Uh, so if you get to this part and the button hasn't been pushed yet, uh, you won't be able to get through. So when your teammates turn this on from in there, there'll be slime that starts popping out of here and landing in here. And slowly filling it up and whenever you feel like it's full enough you can take the risk to jump across and then make it over to the finish line so those are our five contest winners in reverse order we have dragonizer caffeine boost hail the king mario ss7 and then sweet and vicious so congratulations to all you guys uh, when this game ends up getting played, you will see your name in the credits, and I feel like I should clarify. Uh, I'm hoping to get this on the Decision Dome as soon as possible, but the Decision Dome needs to pick it for it to be played, so that's why we need to get on as soon as possible to hope that it does indeed get picked uh, and get on the show. And if it doesn't get picked for the actual uh, season, we'll, we'll rig it a little bit so it'll get... Uh, picked during the community matchup to make sure that it gets played this season but um, we do need to try to get this on the decision dome as soon as possible so that's why I'm rushing to do this video today even though my apartment is still a bunch of packed up boxes. <laughs> okay so at the beginning of the episode I mentioned that you'll be able to suggest a name for the game and that's what I want to talk about now. Uh, in the comments below go ahead and leave your game name idea for our uh, pipe type machine puzzle game that we made in a factory setting. Uh, it has these obstacles, it has the conveyor belt, the goal is to fix the machine and get everyone out. So that's your inspiration. Uh, feel free to suggest as many names as you can think of in the comments. I'm gonna scroll through them and pick my favorite three because obviously they need to be appropriate and we're gonna take a vote on them next episode based on what you guys want to call the game. Uh, so thanks again to everyone who submitted to the contest, and congratulations to the five winners. And until next time, I've been Avondale. Thanks for watching.